Hi Libra, I'm Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 16th to the 22nd of March. This is your uh, vlog for that date, 2020, 16 to 22nd, 2020. I'm using the crystal ball and I'm using the charms and I'm reading the Wildwood Tarot and the House of Shadows, a Lenormand deck. Okay, so let's get started with the charms and let's see what is in store for you. Okay. I'm not looking whilst I'm pulling and seeing I've got a lady um, the two dogs just to make me sure that uh, I'm not watching. Okay, and now the two of these no, well, let's have a look, see whether the people will come back in the reading. Okay, and we've got pink, so that is the heart chakra. You've got the horseshoe first, then you've got the owl, then you've got the key. Okay, the owl, the key, and a dog. Well, this has come out twice today. Okay, Virgo got the dog as well, and the horseshoe. The horseshoe is the first time. Uh, the second time it's come out and Archangel um, Shamuel is your angel for your heart. The heart, this is the angelic chakras because we they use the green and the pink and pink is also love. So we've got also love in Simsy. Let's see, perhaps lucky in love or you're opening your heart to love and luck. Or perhaps you're losing your love to a dog or it could be another pet I couldn't get the cat so okay I wish I could get the cat there's some more charms I need to get like a boat and a car and an airplane but I if so if, if you see any of these charms they're not real silver then please let me know and then I can order them okay let's go to the crystal ball and I use my beautiful cotton handkerchief So old this handkerchief. Okay. Let's place it back. Wow. So let's see what we're seeing for you, Libra. Uh, first of all, I'm seeing a triangle. A triangle. Uh, a triangle. It's more like a wing of a bird. A wing of a bird it's not a wing of an angel that has a rounding on the top and the bird doesn't okay I'm seeing also layers there's something layered I'm noting this down Veins, veins, yeah, ivory, veins, that could be juice, let's have a look, why, why do I get the word juice in my head, please explain. I'm also seeing a V for victory. V, victory, something, something is going on, okay, let's have a look, victory, victory, an N, I'm seeing an E, N, F, E, N, F, okay, The depth in this is amazing. Oh, you might be getting two pets. I'm seeing an egg. I'm seeing an egg, so it doesn't even have to be um, a, a dog. I'm seeing an egg and a butterfly. So it could be a bird, an egg. Right. Uh, an egg, egg butterfly transformation ok 
Okay, let's have a look at what the uh, cards are going to say for you. Okay, hold on and stay with me. Hi Libra, these are your cards. I'm sorry, uh, I had to pause. So let's get back together. You have the, um, for the first card you have the Seven of Stones. So that's the Seven of Pentacles. And it says healing. You are healing of, uh, from something but in the traditional tarot it means that you've sown seeds and you're waiting for them to start sprouting, growing, blossoming and harvesting. So what you sow you shall reap. And in this deck it says healing. So you might have sown seeds in the past and you're healing from the past as well. So I love to take all the meanings all the general meanings and also uh, my intuition and yes I think you are healing and you're going forth you are go just about to harvest okay okay let's have a look then we have the ship your ship of abundance is coming in you've seen this very very big jellyfish and it's wobbly jelly <laughs> so is jellyfish and it's three you, you've been creative you've been flexible because you've been waiting to heal you've been waiting for your plans to come to fruition well my darling your boat is coming in whether it's an abundance of money and health healing yes if once you, you have healed then you are abundant again in your strength in your happiness okay you've opened up your heart chakra perhaps wow and again you've got the key you've opened the door to your heart you've opened your door to positive thinking healing and you are going to reap the harvest of abundance you are going to shine like a beacon this could also be money wow great stuff luck is on your side you've also gathered wisdom right then in uh, Wednesday uh, not in the next week but uh, because I've got four cards I think automatically uh, four weeks no 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 this is just from the 16th to the 22nd and you've got the four of stones that's the four of pentacles perhaps you you did close your heart off to protect yourself and that means uh, you've also closed your mind off usually you see a man sitting with a pentacle on top of his crown chakra his chest that is his heart and his solar plex and also believe his feet so he was totally closed off so there you go healing okay and it is also protection you've been protecting yourself well done but you've learned how to cope with it you've used your wisdom you've learned the owl you've been focusing on what is around you and not just what is in front of you the four of pentacles also is a warning card that if you've been spending too much money then tighten up the purse strings and keep something for a rainy day and now that you've healed perhaps of a bad habit of going shopping that could be as well healing you are you have abundance because you're keeping something for a rainy day you are you've got the rider so it's a new beginning yes when you open up your heart and you've used the key to turn the lock you are st uh, having doing a new beginning you're open to new beginnings you're open to love you're open to abundance okay abundance you might even be going on a holiday and crossing water you might get news or a visitor or you might be going on a visit look at the ant <laughs> an ant with an ant on top of it another bug <laughs> looking at traveling I know you can't travel at the moment but you might be making plans and you might be getting an unexpected visitor with the the crisis at the moment perhaps somebody couldn't get a plane and couldn't uh, go away they had stayed with you before um, uh, 
uh, in the last couple of weeks and they have to stay longer because they cannot leave the country because it's locked down in Spain, Holland and in it, it, Italy. <clears throat> You've also got the Nine of Arrows, and that is um, the Nine of Arrows is the Nine of Swords. You might have sleepless nights, and the sleepless nights could be because you're worried whether everything is going to be all right in this crisis. Give it to the universe and the angels, and they will take care of it. Okay, so that you can. Uh, uh, rejuvenate and you can start this new beginning because a nine is also an ending and a new beginning starting now we did um, have uh, the word layers in uh, the crystal ball and um, luck is on your side and we did have victory and we did have birds and E and F, the letters E and F, it can be separately, but it can also be after each other. And uh, yes, I am using uh, a, 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 an earthly deck, a pagan deck, um, and it's considered with the environment. And the E and F actually means environmental notification uh, facility, or it could also mean environmental network facilities so you might be worried about the environment yes I understand that and also that we cannot travel where we want to go but there is a new beginning you've got the nine uh, one and you've got the nine okay the time is now to take rest so that you can heal like Bambi okay everybody should take heat of this and we also did get the birds, birds, wing of a bird, and we've got victory. There will be victory because we are going to new beginnings, a new phase. Perhaps we're going to even be more concerned about the environment. People are working behind the scenes. And you have the birds. Now somebody might have flown the nest, uh, left the coop and or left the group somebody might have left the family and gone to live on their own they're standing in their own little boots okay uh, you might feel imprisoned at the moment in this whole situation of the environment and what is it doing to it and uh, something with three something with three okay a group, a group. Yes, I've got something with three, I don't know why. Oh, we've got the three here, sorry. We've got the three here. Okay, three and here is three, creativity. Okie dokie. You might feel imprisoned, but you're breaking free, okay? That's flying the coop or leaving the group. Be careful of um, gossip in groups and also it means the birds mean also news but you could be um, going to meetings gatherings although at this moment it is not advised okay the environment is not good enough you might be catching um, an illness coronavirus I know everybody's jumping on the bandwagon but this is uh, yeah quite prominent because it is in E F. I have never heard of E N F, so I looked it up myself um, on the Google when I took that break. So do that as well. E N F, and it might be people like it could be a man's name, Edward, Nico, and Frank or Fred. That that is also what I'm getting. Or Elizabeth, uh, Nicola, and. Fregina or um, Frida uh, that could be also names that might resonate with you they might be coming to visit you or letting news and letting you know news you've got the wheel of fortune number 10 and what goes up must come down everything goes round and round we go down and the wheel goes up 
The wheel means an end of a phase, again a new beginning, and so does the number 10. You might be going on holiday or you might be immigrating. Going on holiday. You might have the money now to go on holiday because you've been able to save, you've tightened up the purse strings. You might go up a next level in a relationship or at work. This is also my karma card. If you've done good, you'll get it back threefold. And the same with mad, and if somebody else has done it to you too. You might even, um, yeah, I don't know, in, in all of a sudden I get a proposal. This could be go, uh, going on holiday with somebody else. Might get a proposal of going on holiday or travel. Somebody might be wearing a, a mask because you, that is representing the dark side of the moon. But in this card you've got a long nose and I'm, then I have to think of Pinocchio. Somebody might be lying to you and I said be careful of gossip and you might already uh, have felt that now somebody is gossiping about you and you are confronting them and they said no so they might be lying and they are dangling by a thread like here okay so be aware listen to your emotions and your intuitiveness your gut feeling and what your mind is telling you when you're t sitting down quietly contemplating or meditating and evaluating situations. You need more information, so do the research. Follow the moon is also a spotlight, so you're in the spotlight. You are, you do have luck on your side because you've got the horseshoe, so you are protected. Okay, you are protected. And again, dedication. Ask your angels for help to take over your worries. So this is definitely messages. Ask for help from the universe and the angels. Get that information. Be healing. Even if you need to ask somebody for help to heal you and to see who is nattering or gossiping about you behind your back. There could be a Pisces. Um, that it could be a Pisces, but it could also be that you're meeting a Pisces, because you've got meetings, okay? Or you're going to visit a Pisces. You've got number 32 here, so you're a bit out of balance. You're a bit insecure. Your emotions might be heightened or sen more sensitive, especially around the cusp when we go into Aries because we are still in Pisces Libra okay uh, what else follow the light on your path to the northern node you are on the right path but listen to your emotions and your intuition and look you've got you are in the spotlight like I said and again you are in the spotlight throughout the week because you've got the Sun and that is also luck that is the horseshoe use your wisdom again wisdom intuitiveness the owl represents wisdom he looks 130 degrees around him he can turn his head he's looking downwards the birds and we've you've got the bird there okay the owl is also telling you be wise don't listen to gossip okay spread your wings fly out perhaps that is also the re reason this means leave the group if somebody's go if it's ne negative because you've got the wheel get out of the negative circle okay walk away from it look it's, he's turned his back on that on the that group the the sun means you have um you're in the spotlight, so you need something has been illuminated. It could be a proposal, it could be a proposal of marriage, or a, pro uh, a promotion, or a new job. You might be moving home, or going on holiday. Again, going on holiday, moving home, going on holiday. It is imminent. Okay, 
stand in the sunlight, stand in the warmth, uh, open up that uh, solar plex of yours, have joy, have fun. You might hear of a birth, this could be of a project or a child. Okay, and you've got 31, so that's stability. Whatever is going to happen, it can be giving you stability. Okay, the, su the sun is also a spotlight, so there might be a Leo that has a light, uh, an eye on you. The overall energy from uh, the tarot during the week is the Ten of Cups, Ten of Vessels, happiness. You might uh, have a reunion with family and friends. Uh, you might like I said the 10 is a completion and a new beginning and there are proposals coming your way and news so uh, the birds well we had the birds in the uh, crystal ball and we've got a bird the owl um, in the charms you hold the key to open that door okay stand in your own strength you have dedication you are strong stronger than you think you've got the key you hold the power there might be an ex uh, like i said a birth a birth could also be an expansion in the family also the ten of vessels could mean happy families an extension it doesn't have to be a child it can be a pet it could be a dog wow nice one I love it I love it but because I haven't got a bird um, only the bird in a cage it could be a bird because I did see an egg okay I did see an egg in the crystal ball a bird you've got the card the bird so it could be that you are getting a canary a parrot a parakeet something that uh, and the egg is also birth something is growing and is birthing healing sowing seeds what you sow you shall reap okay transformation butterfly also a type of bird it is a transformation from a nine to a ten a ten good positive news the sun is positive uh, abundance the ship is positive so there's loads of new positive beginnings Libra yeah well you sow seeds it will grow it could also be the egg in uh, an other form of interpretation of the egg an egg is a new beginning okay we did have also a triangle but I'm not seeing a triangle in the cards except for the three the three okay well that's it and three times three is nine so that could be a triangle three 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 okay uh, you are having victory this is the victory card this is a victory card and this is a victory card if you've done good because you'll get it back threefold again three positive cards wow now it's coming to life yes great stuff i hope you've enjoyed this reading and i hope to see you in the life on monday evening or friday evening and if you know dutch then join us on the wednesday evening there's super chats and super stick uh, stickers available and they have priority thank you very much and please share and like and give us the thumbs up and subscribe i am very grateful for your support because together we make it the, a wow channel so please subscribe i would be grateful thank you